So, fire away. So, we, we can start off. Um, what was the main uh, reason that you became an authority rally driver, Simon? What was it? Well, my dad was always interested in motorsport when I was a when I was a lad. Um, you know, he was always interested in karting and and um, and motorsport in general. And I suppose that rubbed off on me. Um, and then, and um, more specific to rallying, um, I went and got a Saturday job um, at a ga at a local garage when I was about I don't know 14, I yeah. guess. And um, the chap there, he was he was a he had his own rally cars and stuff, and I think he used to buy and sell rally cars. And um, uh, he took me off, or they took me off, um, to watch a rally called the Southwest Stages down in Devon. And um, we went into the forest and, of course, watched these cars come through. And that was me hooked <laughs> for life. <laughs> so was that, was and, that, was that um, historic rallying, was it? Or? Well, of course, those are the same cars that... Yeah, but which are now historic now. rallies today. <laughs> um, yeah. Exactly, yeah. And really, um, yeah, but I mean, with, with historic rallying, um, you know, it, it really is, um, I mean, to, to, to have a modern car, um, you know, would be incredibly expensive, yes. you know, in modern four-wheel drive cars. Exactly. Um, and historic rallying... Makes um, it viable. It's very, yeah. it's very, very competitive um, and sort of, yeah, relatively cheap, re relatively... In, in comparison to normal rallying, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's really what, why. <laughs> So I have to ask you, the second question is, what's your connection with Speedy Regis and how did they become one of your sponsors? Um, well, many years ago, we used to import very cheap motorbikes um, <laughs> from the sort of, you know, from Russia and Latvia. Um, and, um, and of course, Speedy Regis um, bought many of them from me to hold number plates. And, uh, and, you know, Debbie and yourself and, and I have uh, remained friends and and um, when we were talking about rallying, you can't agree to, to sponsor us. Yeah, um, it's and amazing. Help. I think we go back to the early 90s, probably. We long, do. Yeah, it's amazing. It's a long, it's a <laughs> long time ago. Though, a right? long relationship. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I see that your two main rivals for the title, Stanley Orr and his partner and Adrian Henderson, both come from there. The green fields of Ulster. So it's yeah. amazing that they they hail from the same uh, turf as, as Speedy Reg. Would you say those two are your main threat to the t to the title, Simon? Or uh, definitely. I mean, yeah. Stanley Stanley's more so than Adrian. Um, yes. Uh, Stanley's closer to us than he is. Um, but you know, we've still got to beat. Um, we've, I mean, realistically, there's three other guys who are who are who could take the title. Um, but those two are by far the, the closest, um, and you know we've got to beat them to uh, yes, to, to, be to, to win to win. So yeah, it is slightly ironic that they're both from Ireland. Yeah, um, yeah. But um, yeah, yeah. And so what what tactics will you have this weekend to thwart the challenge? There are challenges around the lanes of Fylde in Yorkshire. What? Um, well, there's only one tactic. And that's flat out. <laughs> um, you know, we, we can't and, and a really good navigator as well. <laughs> that's yeah. right. Good yeah. Taste um, yeah. I mean, the, 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 the navigator is yeah. absolutely crucial on a rally like this because you're travelling really so fast. Yeah. Um, and um, so what's the average speed can, then, you would you say, Simon? Well, the average speed will only be, you know, maybe 60 or 70 miles an hour, perhaps. But yeah. we will be, we, you know, when I've, I've looked at the, um, the, the, what they call the safety DVD, which is, you know, take, is a DVD which takes you through the stages. And, and we can see from that that, you know, the roads are going to be incredibly fast. Um, you know, we will be doing well over 100 miles an hour for big portions of the yeah. stages, yeah. you know. Um, and when you consider the, the, those tracks, particularly in, in, in that part of Yorkshire, are, are so narrow that you're literally brushing yep. the high hedges. The, yeah, 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 yeah. And, 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 and firm, tight hedges as well. If you bounce off them. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's always, there's always something solid waiting for you, so you yep. have to be very careful. Yeah. But um, but we can't afford to drive for a finish. You know, we 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 we've got to go for it. We yes. can't afford. You have to go for a win. Stanley, yep. Stanley will be absolutely going for it and so with Adrian <laughs> those two will be 
you know, really, really trying hard. So we've, you know, we we can't we can't afford to do anything but yep. go flat out. Yeah. <coughs> so the race starts on the Friday, does it then? So yeah, we we've got one stage um, on Friday night. Yeah. So that's the first long, stage, is it? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. At night. Yeah. And then it finishes on Saturday evening, does it? Yeah. Um, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. And what other interests do you have besides uh, historic motor racing? What other? <laughs> well, really, um, I mean, the, you know, my business occupies me for a, a, um, you know, a, a large proportion of my time. Um, um, and you know, as you know, when you own your own business, you never really step away from it. Yeah. But I mean, my hobbies. I, I mean, I love cycling. Yeah. Um, and I, I'm quite a keen cyclist. And um, I spend quite a, uh, you know, I try to get in the gym as much as I can. Good. Of course, the incentive for both those things is, is uh, you know, keeping fit for morale driving. Yeah, exactly. And, uh, and it's important for people yeah, of our age as well. Just to exactly. To keep when, you get to, uh, when you get to when you when you get to my age, or, um, and uh, you know, you've got all these youngsters who are, um, you know, competing against you. You know, you you have to try and keep fit. Yeah, yep, exactly. Definitely. Yep. And it's a very, very physical thing, driving. Yeah, you need to be very flexible, don't you? Like you know, yoga yeah. would be good oh, for you. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah but it's, 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 I'm sure it's very, especially in, a, in, a, in an escort, anyway. You know, Mark One escort. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. Too, so, so, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's um, I mean, I, I mean, some guys arrive at the end of the stage and they don't look like I've done anything. When I arrive at the end of the stage, I've You're read totally the wrecked. And wrecked. Wrecking, you know. Um, and, uh, and and I don't know why that should be uh, because you know I'd like to think I'm pretty fit, but you know, but I I guess that's just the you, way you, I am. You've just given us your all. That's what you've done. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Would you ever consider a personalised registration number for the, for one of the rally cars? Uh, well, funnily enough, we, you know, we've got uh, we've got another uh, rally car which potentially um, we're going to build um, into a new car. Um, so would I consider one? Of course. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So we, we have okay. Jazz Triple One. We thought it would be very good for your co-pilot. Jazz Triple One. Jazz Triple One. I must tell him. Yeah. Yeah. We could yeah. certainly give it, loan it to the car. Certainly. All <laughs> oh, right. All right. Okay. Uh, well, what you need is, is, um, is something to do with the driver, does he? Really? Yes. Exactly. Uh, uh, yes. UAV One A. Uh, uh, yeah. Exactly. Exactly. But that's that's 